Hello, gentlemen and gentlewomen and ducks. Um, yesterday, I explained on Twitter that my sister and I had come up with a game called Noodles, which involved throwing up your hands in the air and saying, Noodles! Now, some people rush to judgment, which I find hasty, and I wanted to explain the game involves more than just throwing up your hands and saying noodles. And I just want to say this because I want you to at least be informed before you make your decision, before you say that you're not the kind of person who would play a game like noodles, because quite possibly you are. But I also want to say don't be afraid of my face. It has a lot of makeup on it. I just did red eye. This, is, this just happens when you do red eye. So anyway, the way the game works is you say, okay, you guys, guess what I'm thinking in regards to, and then you come up with a topic, say, vegetables. So you say, guess what I'm thinking in regards to vegetables, and then the people around you have to try to guess what you're thinking in regards to vegetables, and if they get it right, then you say, noodles. So for example, I might say, guess what I'm thinking in regards to vegetables, and then they'd be like, I like vegetables. I don't like vegetables. Well, they probably have better, more clever ones, and they'd come up with a lot of them. And then you just you do nothing until they, the the actual thought was I just ate some vegetables. Let's see, There's vegetables here, um, and so, for example, they'd say I just ate some vegetables, and then, I mean, ideally they'd get that one eventually if they're not strangers. Then you'd be all noodles. Now. I was playing with this with my sister, and she and I know each other very well, so it was going very fast, a very rapid clip. It was like speed noodles, because I'd say, okay, guess what I'm thinking in regards to dogs? And she'd be like, I wish I had a puppy. I'd be like, noodles! And then she'd say, guess what I'm thinking in regards to work? I'd be like, I wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow. Noodles! And it was like, the ratio of noodles to questions was high. But you need to take into account that sometimes you might be playing with people that you don't know as well. So therefore, if they guess something close to what you're thinking, like let's say your thought is, I don't think it's possible that, that one of the three little pigs could have truly hopped and popped and blown a house down. You might accept three little pigs as unrealistic. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to stretch it out too much. You need to make that call for yourself. However, on Twitter yesterday, Natalie Del Conti said that her nickname when she was a kid was Noodles. So then I said that there's a bonus round where you yell Noodles Del Conti. And I think that the way this comes into play is when you're playing Noodles with people you don't know that well, and if they guess your thought exactly, not just... Like, it could be close enough for noodles, but if they guess it exactly where you're like, oh my god, you read my mind, then you yell, noodles del conti. See? And I'm hoping tomorrow on my Ustream show, which is at 10 o'clock Eastern, and P.S. on Red Eye tonight during post-game report, post-game halftime report, post the whole game before it. It was just the post game, not the half time. Um, we didn't get around to me, so I didn't get a chance to plug the hell out of my show, so I'm doing it now. Um, my show, tomorrow, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Michael Showalter will be on, barring any sort of blizzardy conditions, which there will be, but I don't know how he is in a blizzard. Hopefully, he's great in a blizzard. Um, I'm thinking we should play noodles on the air. Noodles slash noodles del conti. What do you guys think? I think it'd be good. Okay. I'm just going to sit here making this face now. Okay, what am I thinking in regards to this face? If you guessed, it's a good one. Noodles! <laughs> See how much fun it is? Okay, bye!